Let's see the question. Move zeros. We are given an integer array, lambs, and we need to move all zeros to the end of it. Well, and we also need to maintain in the relative order of the non-zero elements that are in, the, in front of it. And we must do this in place without making a copy of the array. In place just means we shouldn't be uh, allocating any space for extra array, but we are allowed to modify the existing array. However, as the first step, trying to come up with a solution that makes use of additional space is OK. And for this problem as well, first, we will apply the idea discussed using an additional array. And then, the in-place solution will pop up eventually. This question comes under a broad category of array transformation. This category is the meat of take interviews, mostly because the arrays are such simple and easy to use as a data structure. So traverse or representation doesn't require any boilerplate code, but most of your code will look like the pseudocode itself. And the two requirements of the questions are the first is moved all the zeros to the end of the array, and the second is all the non-zeros element must retain in this uh, original order. So, but it is good to realize here that both requirements are multi-exclusive. That is, that means you can solve the individual subproblems and then combine them for your final solution. Let's try to implement code in the Python. Uh, first, we get uh, the input value here, right? And we uh, create a variable to declare the length, length. And so remember, we uh, split the uh, problem into a sub problem. First, we need to count the zeros. We set a variable lambs lem zero is start from zero for i in range. We need to uh, set a for loop to count zeros and uh, if we meet a zero, we just add the num. <coughs> we just add the lem zeros increment by one and we can make a test by printed lambs zeros yeah it's a two because we have a two zero here and uh, we need to make uh, the all the non-zero element remain the, the original order so uh, we're going to create a new array, ends. Uh, it's an empty array. And uh, since we create an empty array to, to store the results, so the space complexity will become O of n. And we set a uh, for loop for i in range n if lambs at i isn't 0, then we just append uh, from the uh, append, append them from the uh, from the uh, from the start at the left and we can make a test print them yeah we did it we add the number uh, in front of them and then we want to move all the zeros to the end. So while lambs zeros is bigger than zero, means, and we just append them to the, or just append zero to the end of the, uh, the array here. And lambs uh, zero decrement by one because we just appended a uh, zero, so we uh, decrement the uh, uh, counting zero, and we can print them, print them out to make a test. 
yes, we did it. And, and actually, this is uh, our answer. So you maybe notice the time complexity is uh, O of n2. However, the total number of operations are the suboptimal. And, but we can still to achieve some uh, same result in the less number of operations. Uh, because we combine the result, so the time complexity is O of n. And we, because we need to return the lambs itself, so lambs at n, a uh, lambs get the uh, value from n. So we need uh, finally to return the uh, lambs itself. Uh, oh, not return itself. Okay, and uh, we need to uh, because we finished the uh, algorithm, we just want to define a function. Uh, Move zero self lambs. Uh, it is a uh, integer list and return none and set this into the into the function and uh, class solution and and this and then we can delete it. We can make a test print solution dot move move and uh, put the number here wait uh, uh, we need to return the lambs yeah we did it we did it we did it so this is a very easy solution if you are asked in an interviewer then the above solution would be a good start. You can explain to the interviewer, know the code, the above you build is a very good basis for the, your next optimal solution. Let's try another approach to optimize the space. This approach works the same way as above. First, we fulfill one requirement and then another. What is the catch? It is does in a clever way, as the above problem can also be stated in an alternate way. We just bring all non-zero elements to the front of the array and keeping them in relative order the same. This is a two-pointer approach. The first pointer, which is denoted by variable curl, does the job of processing new elements. If the newly found element is not a zero, we will record it just after the last found non-zero element. So the, po the position of the last found non-zero element is de denoted by slow pointer. We call the variable name is last non-zero founded. As we keep finding new non-zero element, we just overwrite them at the last non-zero funded plus one index. This overwrite will not result in any loss of data because we already processed what was there. If it were non-zero, it already is now written at its corresponding index. Or if it is were zero, it will be handled later in time. So after the curl index, reaches the end of the array, we now know that all the non-zero elements have moved to the beginning of the array in the original order. Now comes to the time to fulfill another requirement. We move all zeros to the end. We now simply need to fulfill all the indexes after the last non-zero founder index with zero. So let's analyze its complexity. The space complexity is easy, right? It is of one uh, because it only is a constant time, constant space is used. But the total operation is n. So the, the operation is n, that means the total number elements array is written is n times. So the time complexity is O of n. The total number of operations are still suboptimal. So oh, let's try to achieve this in the path. Uh, first, we create a variable last long 
zero fun art zero this nation to zero and n is the length of lens array and then we set a for loop for i in range n so if the current element is not zero then we just need to append it in front of the last known zero element we found last last non zero element we found and uh, just append it right and then the last long zero found that is a uh, increment by one so let's uh, make a test like a uh, print oh and we need to give a uh, lens uh, data so it will first bring the element to the front of it right and we can uh, then to bring the last of them into a zero just fill, fill them filling them to become zero last from the last long zero found that to the end to the final one right and the lambs at i is zero so we did it right print uh lambs yeah that is how it is we just fill in the, the last of them to become a zero and we can return return names and uh, don't for forget to uh, class solution define move zeros self names uh, integer uh, none and give them an indentation indentation and uh, print we just copy them yeah that's what that is how it works for the previous approach its total number of operation is suboptimal for example, if the array which has all leading zeros like this, except the last one is non-zero, by using the previous approach, how many write operations to this array? It writes zeros n minus one times, which is not necessary. We could have instead written just once. How could we? By only fixing the non-zero element. Again, our next optimal approach is a subtle extension of the above solution. The simple realization is if the current element is non-zero, its correct position can at best is it a current position or a position earlier. If it is the later one, then the current position will be eventually occupied by a non-zero or zero, which lie lies at the index greater than current index we can fill the current position by zero right away so that's unlike previous solution we don't need to come back here in the next iteration so we have to maintain the following invariant all elements before the slow pointer are long zeros and all elements between the current pointer and the slow pointer are zeros. Therefore, when we encounter a non-zero element, we need to swap the element pointed by current pointer and element pointer by slow pointer. We swap the value, then we advance both pointer, but 
If it is a zero element, then we just advance current pointer. With this invariant in place, it is easy to see that this algorithm will work. So let's implement the code in the Python. First, we just get the uh, input data to put in here as uh, our test case, and uh, the the slow pointer last long zero found at is always keep track the last zero and the n is our to come to calculate the complexity is a length is the length of the uh, the input array for current in the uh, range n so the current pointer which is the fast pointer will, will iterate uh, only once in the in, in this range but we need to give him a if statement if the uh, length at the current current array is not equal to zero remember what we do here and uh, so we need to swap swap the element with the length at the uh, slow slow pointer last long zero find that and the length uh, at the curve current so to swap the uh, element lamps at the current and the lamps at the element last uh, at and after swap the value the last long zero find out is a uh, increment by one and that it we can print it yeah, it's very creepy algorithm. Now it is a one, three, twelve, and the last, uh, the last part of them is a zero. So now, now let's turn them into a. Let's turn them into a. a class solution. Define move zeros self lum lums uh, integer array and mm, return no and give them two in attention and this become return so this this just do nothing is okay we just uh, uh let's say we just have a a so solution dot dot move a then print a yes we did it we achieved it let's analyze its complexity the time complexity is often but the total number of operation are optimal the total operations is how many times this array writes non-zero elements yes when most of the elements are zero this gave us a much better best case complexity than the last solution <laughs> however when all elements are non-zero the worst case complexity for both algorithm is the same and about the space complexity is still all of one only constant space is used